I'm at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Obviously, this is Blake. And what an amazing place he has. Uh, take a look at the video. It's amazing, folks. He's got some crazy, crazy animals. Appreciate coming by. All right. Thanks a lot, buddy. Check out Blake's Cape, Cape Baron Goose. Or a pig goose. Or a pig goose. I guess because he has a short nose, right? They make that a pig noise, too. Oh, they make a pig noise. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the pond, huh? All natural filtering. You don't have to do anything to it. It's called a what? A wetland filter? Wetland filter. Yep. Wetland filter. It's cool. Check this out. Amazing. That's my, uh, what kind of an owl is it? A spectacle owl. A spectacle owl. Yeah, South a South American spectacle owl. Cool. Ah, need some cherry heads. Dual use of the cage. Is she going to freak out when I come too close? Wow, look at the eyes. Hey, Ma, what do you think about that? You love owls. Check that guy out. Look at the feet. Oh, yeah. Those are strong. They're massive. That thing could mess you up. She's real nice. She can pet her. You oh. You serious? I swear. You can pet her no more. just walk over here. You can pet her no more. She's here, Laura. I'm actually, I'm actually afraid. You're okay. Right over the top. There we go. <laughs> I never touched an owl before. Wow, amazing, oh, amazing. Oh, it looked like it was gonna bite me. Has she ever bitten anybody? Uh, she might go a little bit here and there, but oh. nothing like really bad. Wow. The feet you have to worry about when she tries to grab a rat. Wow, that is amazing. Oh. Laura, you gotta touch this owl. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Thanks. <laughs> well, I, if that don't sound like the jungle, I don't know what does. That's what they use in the background. These guys. What is it called? It's called a uh, kookaburra from Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of those before. How neat. How neat. Need to see all these different animals. Oh, yeah. bubble, bubble, bubble. Check out the turkeys over at Blake's place. Amazing. Bubble, 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 bubble. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Really cool. Coming to Blake's farm here is ranch is. It's been amazing. Oh, look at this guy coming over. Oh, look at them tall things. Yeah, it's got to be some kind of stalk. <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing. They're funny little guys. They're yeah. Called They're called Indian runners? Yeah. Like big white eggs. So that's a goose, isn't it? No, those are ducks. Uh, oh, they're ducks. So you see the big poles? Check this out. Oh, okay. So it's going to be all closed oh. in and it's going to be one enormous. Oh, that's nice. Wow, this is Blake's future aviary. Yeah. So and this, so you saw the wetland back there? Yeah. This is a lot bigger wetland. Four this times the size. is amazing. Wow. So this was a complete black mud hole. Oh, this is the video I saw with, uh, with Nine the... Fingers Nick. Yep, going yeah. inside the hole, correct. Oh! You okay? Yeah. Wow, look at the thing, it's going over. How deep is that there? Over here, it rains. No, I'm talking about from land level. From the... Oh, land level? Yeah, we built it like that so that when it rains a lot, it can hold its own water all around the area. Built it up. And did you just come up with this design yourself, or? Uh, my buddy Ed designed it. Oh, and I then see. We just started putting it together. I saw you guys digging the muck out. Oh yeah. Nick was like a giant worm underneath the mud. Yeah, he was. Oh my God! Every time you turn around here. See the massive holes I put up? I made four foot holes and filled it all up with concrete. Wow. This is a emu. Yeah, a white. This is a white emu. Yeah. And the male is somewhere, but I'm not sure where he's at right now. 
Probably not. The only thing you're missing here is a cassowary. Eventually. <laughs> you're Eventually. kidding me. Donkeys too. Captain. Holy mow! Wow! I mean. Holy cow! Oh God! <laughs> oh Jesus! I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> wow! How neat this place is. Blake, it's amazing. Ah! The tongue is like sandpaper. Touch it, Laura. I don't know anything. <laughs> wow. And those are regular donkeys? Are they some kind of... What neat stuff. Wow, how long did he live? Probably like 25 years. Wow, sure, yeah. <laughs> that is just crazy. This place is amazing. You, now, you, you weren't always into all of the farm animals, were you? I always had farm animals. Oh, you did? Yeah, I always got some goats. Before, as soon as we moved into the yard, I already had two goats and a bunch of chickens. And I always just gathered oh. more and gathered more. Oh, okay. I, I always thought you were kind of like more into tortoises. I always, I always I heard stories of yeah. tortoises walking in your front yard. So, where's oh, Blake yeah. Place? Oh, yeah. The tortoises just passed by his house. They're walking around in the front yard. Oh, yeah. But those are the tortoises before. That's everybody was talking about. Down oh, there. down there. That's why people would see them. Uh, wow. There's 10 adults the products down there. Wow. Wow. So I just started landscaping in here. The video actually just went out today, but I have more landscape. I can bring a lot more fruit trees, landscape this whole entire thing. Oh, you can put fr fruit trees around the outside, huh? Yeah, so that the birds that are going to be in here go harvest and eat their own fruits and everything as well. Wow. So this is going to be my what biggest an endeavor. Yeah, this is my biggest enclosure I ever built. As you can see, how it's going to be from it's a hundred foot long, epic. forty foot wide, wow. and uh, eighteen feet tall. Oh, okay, so now what goes in here? So there's going to be capybara in here. There Happy berry, yeah. Different types of turtles that live in here. Yeah. Some turtles and uh, Hillary Rice like turtles. Yeah. Yeah. There's some turtles on there. You can see. Yeah. I put a bunch of African cichlids. There's a lot more sort of to grow in here. And then the birds, there's going to be about 15 different species of birds, and about 25 total that live inside of here. It's just for birds. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but, oh, that little tree is amazing. Yeah, that's a pond apple tree. So neat. It's just like you saw over there. And this this is the same same system wetland as wetland filter, but just three times bigger or four times bigger, really. Massive. Yeah, it's really good. This is gonna look amazing. Yeah. Well, from what it was before to this, it's pretty freaking crazy. Yeah. I bet you're stoked. Oh yeah. He's only really nice to me. Other people, he's not really nice to. So he does like those noise. Yeah. Petri. It's okay. A kinkachu, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> and so what kind of animal is it? What's it related to? It's related to almost a possum. It's from South America. It's a real nocturnal animal. And they love honey. They're called honey bears. Oh, God. Really? So at night, he's just running around everywhere like crazy. And during the day, he just sleeps. So he gets huh. fed at night. Almost like a... What's those things this, that Lauren had? A ferret. No, it's not like a ferret. The otter's like a ferret. I'll show you the otter. All right, cool. I'm going to go see the otters. Oh my god, he's not the cutest. Four month old otter. He's a funny little guy. No. He runs around the house with me. No. Oh, how sweet. He's completely he? weaned now. It's really cool. Is he friendly? Yeah. Oh, listen to the little boy. Oh, he's going to nibble on me. Oh, he has some big canines. Oh, you shoot. Look at these things. <laughs> Look at those pearly whites. Wow. He Aww. eats fish and everything. He's a funny little guy. I saw him running around. Yeah. Super cool, super cool. So he's going to get a big enclosure over there. Wow, that's so neat. Check the honor out. He stays right with me. 
Hello, everybody. I'm on my way over to my buddy's house, Blake. Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. A lot of you folks know him. He's a great guy. I've known this guy forever. I, I think he was buying Aldabra tortoises for me when he was like nine years old. Anyway, he's grown his ranch. It's tremendous now. He has all different kinds of exotic animals. He's, he's got, uh, I'm pretty sure he has pigs, but he's got goats. He's got different kinds of chickens. He has, uh, I think these other things he has now are, are otters and stuff like that. Um, he's got a nice tortoise collection as well. So uh, I'm really stoked, really excited to go over and see him. You know, it's, it's a, 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 actually a, a shame, but he lives three miles from me, and this is the first time I'm actually going over to see him. Going today, gonna take you folks along. Uh, we'll have this video. Blake is one of those amazing people. He's gone all over the world. I, I think he's gonna be like the youngest guy to, to actually visit every country. So this is looking forward to going over to Blake's place. Follow me along, folks. Take care. Actually, now that I think about it, Blake may be only the second youngest person to visit all the countries. I think it was uh, Drew Blinsky. Uh, I followed his channel along. It's uh, if you haven't had a chance to see his channel, it's really great. The guy is uh, actually the youngest person to ever visit all the different countries in the world, and he's got an amazing channel. So I'm a fan, Drew. Thanks a lot. Take care, everybody.